Welcome to The Lawbreakers, where we delve into the most nonsensical, outrageous and idiotic laws that exist in this great nation. We traverse the country to bring you the most ridiculous legislation. And today, we're in the heart of New Brunswick, where the laws have truly taken a spill into the realm of absurdity. Are you ready to be flabbergasted? Because we're about to uncover some laws that will make your head spin. No playing music on Sundays. First up on the chopping block is a law that will leave musicians, audiophiles and Sunday jam sessions in a state of distress. It seems that in New Brunswick, playing music on the Sabbath is strictly prohibited, but the irony of this law is not lost on us. While the law prohibits us from playing our favorite tunes, it allows the ringing of church bells at an ungodly hour no less. So, let's get this straight. You can't play your guitar or blast your tunes, but ringing bells at 7 a.m. is completely acceptable. What a joke. So, if you were planning on hosting a concert on Sunday, better make sure it's not in this province or you'll be breaking the law, unless that concert is for Jesus. Then that seems to be okay, I guess. No wearing high heels. Are you a fan of high heels? Well, I hope you're not planning on visiting New Brunswick anytime soon, because the law in this province prohibits wearing high heels in public places. So, if you're hoping to show off your fabulous shoes and those legs that go on for days, stop right there. They don't want to see it. You take those shoes and sexy legs elsewhere. On a side note, my house is elsewhere, just saying. But why the ban on high heels, you might ask? Is it because they're deemed too dangerous for the public's safety? Are they seen as a public nuisance? No, the answer is much simpler than that. New Brunswick apparently has an aversion to fashion and style, and they simply don't want people to look too fabulous. Seriously, have you seen these people? It's truly terrifying. So much flannel. So, if you're a high heel enthusiast, beware. You might have to leave your beloved stilettos at home or risk being arrested for breaking the law. It's a sad day for footwear freedom, but that's the reality in New Brunswick. No possession of a goldfish. But the absurdity doesn't stop there, oh no. New Brunswick has declared war on the most innocent of pets. The goldfish. Possessing a goldfish is illegal in this province. So if you were hoping to bring a little aquatic friend into your life, better be something safer and more legal than a goldfish. Like a shark, because those are legal in New Brunswick. One can only imagine the reasoning behind this law. Perhaps they believe that goldfish are a threat to public safety, or maybe they're just trying to protect the local ecosystem from being overrun by rogue goldfish. Whatever the reason, it's a harsh blow for those who love these little creatures. I'd like to take a moment and ask that you like this video and subscribe to the channel. My wife said that if I can grow the channel, she will tell me which of our kids isn't mine. My guess is all of them, but that really says more about her than it does about me. Anywho, no possession of a parrot, and it seems that New Brunswick has something against all forms of pet ownership, not just goldfish. Possessing a parrot is also illegal in this province. So if you were hoping to have a feathered friend to keep you company, you might have to look elsewhere. Is it because they are afraid that parrots will start talking and giving away state secrets? Or are they worried that they'll become too loud and disturb the peace? Perhaps they are worried it will bring about the end of days through a zombie pirate plague started by these wizards of the sky. No possession of a ferret. And last but certainly not least, the most absurd law of them all. It's illegal to possess a ferret in New Brunswick. Yes, you heard that correctly. The possession of one of the world's most adorable and playful pets is strictly forbidden in this province. Why on earth would they ban ferrets, you ask? Well, your guess is as good as ours. Maybe they are afraid of ferrets becoming the new black market pet. Or maybe they believe they are a danger to the public. Or maybe, just maybe, 
they realize that they are mean little furry jerks that smell like a dirty vagina. Either way, it's a harsh blow for ferret lovers everywhere. In conclusion, if you're planning on visiting New Brunswick, remember to leave your high heels, goldfish, parrots, and ferrets at home more risk breaking the law. And if you're already a resident, well, our condolences. You are living in a place where music, fashion, and pet ownership are all outlawed. Thanks for watching and join us next week as we delve into another batch of ridiculous laws from around the world. Until then, stay law-abiding and remember, in New Brunswick, fun is against the law.